Hey everybody, the Johnny Cage here, welcoming you back to some more of Let's Play Super Mario RPG. Last time we left off, we were looking for this password so we could open the door of progression and move on in the game and move closer to our fifth star piece, which is under control of some evil pirate guy named Johnny, and that's all we know for now. But first things first, we knock this barrel down here and then jump on it. And that will drop a mushroom, which instantly heals the whole party. And also, we get one of the clues to the puzzle. The password itself is pretty straightforward, and I didn't want to go through all the trials just to get hints on how to do the password, because they're just hints. It doesn't tell you exactly what the password is. So, I figured, uh, once you know it, you know it. And I think the first time I played this game in, like, the late 90s, um, I didn't really know it at first, so I had to look it up in a issue of Nintendo Power. And then the second time I played this game was much later on in college, and uh, by then we had, you know, internet capabilities, so it wasn't a very huge deal. And what? No, no, that's not right. Oh, gosh. I hate the way they have those boxes. Oh, okay, key letter four. Yeah, this is what I get. I guess I should have been reading that it was key letter four, five, and six in that direction. Anyhow, so the password's pearls. Once you know it, that's all I need to know. Oh my gosh, what's that? Good job, I'll let you through if you can get past me first, that is. What the hell was that thing? Uh, any treasure in here? No? No? So you walk through the door and immediately you are in a boss battle with a tentacle monster. Ooh, must be that squid they were talking about in the treasure room. But look at this guy. Does this really look like a squid to you? It looks like his joints have rivets in it. Like, this is not a squid. This really is a some sort of a robotic tentacle monster. One of the most vile products to ever come out of Japan. Oh, uh, well, maybe we shouldn't have Princess here for this, but we'll risk it, I suppose. It's actually a really straightforward fight. Um, you're probably going to get beat up here a little bit. And I did some level grinding. I did that Molo trick that I had mentioned in the last episode where you stand by that dry bones and you can take them out with the, the Thunderbolt. And I had no trouble taking out the entire team of people with Thunderbolt at level 12 already. I thought it had to be at least level 13, but level 12 you can probably pull it off. And ugh, so three tentacles down, three more to go, and man, Bowser seriously is a, such a powerhouse. It's ridiculous. Like His damage is really the highest in the entire group, and his defense is ridiculous as well, so you know, with him there, there's no problem at all. I mean, it could be using someone like Malo, who has um, a magic attack that targets all the enemies on the screen, but, you know, I like Bowser. I like the team of Mario, you know, Princess, and Bowser. That's just something you're not going to see every day. You know? It would be better still if Link was on the team. I still think it would be, but I'm only to settle with what we got. Look at that, one damage from an attack that's doing like 20 off of the other two people. Oh well. But we've got Princess, and she's got her group hug ability now, which is great, and even better will be what she learns at level 13, but I suppose we'll uh, mention that when we get there. So finally, after taking out all six tentacles, you make your way up to whatever the hell that thing is. I mean, yeah, it's a squiddish, but that's, that's seriously just a robotic tentacle monster you have in the bottom of your boat there. That's your immediate problem. He's not too tough. The tentacles do exactly what you would imagine they did before, and I would recommend taking them out before you actually take on the uh, mass of the robotic body, if you will, something of that sort. Uh, they're especially weak against fire, which I haven't used yet, but I will be uh, bringing out some Mario Super Flame pretty soon here. I wonder when he learns Ultra Flame. That's, that's definitely not till much later on. It's probably with level 18 or so, so it's still a ways for that one, but... And I haven't really shown any of his jump moves, either. I should show those. I'm sure I will eventually. We'll get around to it. But first things first, King Calamari, or evil tentacle monster as I like to call you, you get super flamed. Ooh, 243. Awesome. That's what I'm talking about. And Bowser's poison, but I don't think we have to worry about it right now. We'll just stick to attacking, even though this will probably do no damage. Ooh, 14. It's close enough to no damage. Uh, at least poison isn't as annoying in this game as others. Most games it will take a ridiculous amount of health away from you. Here it's not enough to really complain, but you know it is poison. Poison is what poison is. Once again with a super fire flame attack. Ugh, this boss is really just very tedious. 
and it only gets more difficult from here. And by more difficult, I mostly mean more tedious, but anyhow, it doesn't really matter. Giant squid battles are always, uh, always a way to bring in more viewers. And I gotta love how Bowser throws Mario at him like that. Ink Blast. No, not again. Okay, good, I missed. Oh, just die already. Seriously, now I'm just gonna mash you. Oh, that would be great if he just kills him right here. Nope, no dice. Come on, finish it up, Bowser. We gotta move on. We've got some pirates to fight and star pieces to grab. Boom! There you go. Alright, so, giant squid. Finished. Not much of a... Not too much of anything there. Look at that, only 34 experience. In that level, in that level grinding uh, battle I was doing, I was making 27 experience per battle, and 54 if I was lucky enough and got the uh, the Yoshi in the little shell game that you can sometimes do. And we'll just head up this way. Dodge the Rattatas, shooting the bullet bills. Very, very troubling. Oh, this is always a part where the whole, like, 2.5D throws me off. I just kind of have to like, make a run for it and jump randomly. Ooh, Raditz on the stairs. Oh, of course I would just jump right into one. Oh, and they've got these guys who I've come to know far too well. Crystal attack. Ooh, whoa, 29. Wow, that's brutal. Yeah, the enemies here, I'm telling you, they're, they're doing damage to me. And Just because we fought one boss doesn't mean that the next boss is right away, and that's probably a good thing, because I don't think we could handle two bosses right in a row right now, even with some level grinding. All oh, right. Let's use poison gas. We haven't done that yet. See what that's all about. Rotate the control pad. Oh, look at this guy. Oh, he's out there farting up a storm. What was that? 99? Okay, that's pretty good. And it does poison them, of course, as you would imagine a move called poison gas would do. Not bad. It's kind of funny that Bowser's becoming the magic user of the team. Did not expect that. Well, I guess if he was like a black mage, you know, that would kind of make sense. Maybe that's the class that, if all the Mario characters were in a Final Fantasy game, what class would they be? Maybe Bowser would be a, a black mage. I guess it would depend what Final Fantasy game. Anyway, I, I digress. I'm thinking about that too much now. What are those? It's like pig turds with wings. Oh, we're out of here. We're out. We're, I'm not dealing with that. We just fought a tentacle monster. We don't need this. Uh, let's see if you can... I gotta stop jumping out of these doorways. Jeez. Alright, jump over you, and... Ooh, treasure up there. Nope. 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 Come on, I know I can get this. There we go. Oh, just coins. Yeah, just coins in both these boxes, if I remember correctly. Nothing super special, but... We are on a... You know, a pirate ship. It would kind of make sense that they would have treasure chests that are full of coins. And this is pretty cool. Ho ho ho! Whoa! Mirror Mario! Whoa! So if you jump up right there you can get that block, and the reason I'm kind of running around fast here, panicking a little bit, is because I don't want ghosts to come out of nowhere and get into a fight with them, but then if you jump on his head, you'll get a Kiro Kiro Cola, which, it turns out that we already have three of them, uh, so, yeah, that's probably all we need of those, those are just a status ailment relieving item, so not a really necessary thing to have. Let's dodge these dry bones and make our way down here, and we get a mushroom that instantly heals the entire party, and a save point, so that must mean something's coming up. And this treasure chest over here, you can fight it if you want. It's a mimic. It's kind of like a boss battle in itself. Well, a mini boss battle in itself. You'll get a safety badge for it, which protects you against instant death attacks. But, come on. How often does instant death actually ever work? I mean, it's, at least in this game. You know, I say that after yesterday I had a guy die, die instantly in my Lufia video. But, we'll just forget about that ever happening. Oh, this cheap cheap is following me. Oh, look at that crab guy. He's pretty menacing. Looks like a guy that Bowser would take on. Cheap, cheap. Goes down, no problem. Uh, these are actually really low-level guys that you fought much earlier on. So nothing much to worry about here. Hurley Glove! 102? Oh, wow, that was enough to take him out. Didn't the guy look a lot more menacing than that? I would imagine he had a lot more power, but... Oh, well. It was all show, I suppose. Alright, so hopefully now we don't have to deal with any more cheap cheeps. Go around here, grab these frog coins. I really wanted to grab these frog coins, though, because we're about... Let's see, I think we got... Did we get five there? I think we're only, like, two or three short of getting the experience booster, which I really want to get as soon as I possibly can, because it would be very useful to someone on the team. Ooh, fish. Or starfish. Oh, damn, the cheap... He just darted for me. Ugh. Come on. Let's try to run. No run? Run now? No run. Ugh. 
Ah, oh, now cheaps are trying to make me look like a fool. Oh well. Let's see if Terrorize works. Terrorize. I imagine this kind of being like a Scarecrow in the Batman movies and TV show. Like, something like the crazy powder that he would have used. Right? Yeah? That would be funny if Bowser was a Scarecrow. Oh, oh, oh yes. Defense up. Awesome. And the power glove attack. And by Bowser being a Scarecrow, I mean you can have the Scarecrow status put on you and you can't attack and you can only use specials and then if you use that move, get it? Get it? Anyhow. I digress. Uh, oh, come on! That thing moved one pixel! One pixel! Oh, are we gonna fight these guys? No, we're, no, we're not. Come on. This is ridiculous. So many little... No! Oh, God! So many battles! Uh, couldn't run away. Okay, well, there's only two of them, and they're these little starfish guys. I think we can handle this. We just took out a tentacle monster. That's gonna be my go-to. If we took out a tentacle monster, we can totally handle a couple of starfish that do a little funny dance to recover themselves. I think we can handle that much. Phyroplasm. That doesn't sound good. Whoa. I think you pooped that on us. Oh, figures it would just be poison. Come on, finish him off, Mario. We've got pirates to go take care of. Well, anyhow, guys, I'm actually coming towards the end of the video for today. Ooh, level up, though, for Peach, and she gets a uh, comeback, which revives a team member. Very useful magic. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. This has been the Johnny Cage. Please subscribe, like, comment if you have not. And, oh, look, Gino got a level up, too. Nice. Anyhow, next time, we're taking on some pirates. I'll see you then. Later on, everyone.